Here is a demonstration of our selection techniques in which the user can select the, ob the building using both hands on top of the two buttons on our interaction tool. Once the object is selected, you can pan over to this detailed history tool, which is represented by this details pane that shows information about the selected building, including address, class, stories, and so forth. And then by turning the tool, you can get a graph of the history of the building's property value. And as you turn it more, you get different decades of information. And we can go back and select another building. You will notice that uh, the thumbs can control the length of the ray. When the red button, when that is occluded, then the length of the ray will decrease. When the green button is occluded, the length of the ray will increase. And when the two buttons are occluded, then the ray will turn yellow and allow for selection of a particular building. So another building is selected, and when we pan over to the history tool, you'll notice different information comes up. In this case, it's 637 West 125th Street, and thus information, new information has been displayed. And again, turning to a different toolbar, you will see a new graph showing up that illustrates the building's value over time. And we will select another building. You'll notice as a building is selected, the bounding box becomes highlighted. So, Tehran will select another building in this case by decreasing the length of the ray or changing it accordingly. And he can increase the length of the ray by holding his hand over the green button. Thus, the ray turns green, illustrating that it's going to increase. And when both buttons are occluded, he turns yellow. And another building is selected. And again, new information will show up along the history tool. Okay, now we're going to show a demonstration of the models being registered along the physical site. Here we've position the large fiducial array across the street of some buildings of interest. And as we pan around, you can see that the buildings are registered somewhat accurately along the physical buildings.